Hi everybody, my name is Troy. I'm a third year MDiv student and right now I'm serving on internship at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Alpena, Michigan. Um, I am in my 11th month out of 12 and so that's kind of hard to believe but as I was asked to share some things uh, for this week's town hall meeting, um, I reflected over my entire time and it was hard to pick one story. So I'll sort of give a quick overview and I'll do it sort of fast. When I first arrived here, my supervisor, Pastor John, gave me a word that would he had hoped would be a focus for my ministry. And I really resonate well with that sort of thing, with having a lens to focus through. And so his word for me was <laughs> relax. And when I thought about that, immediately I, I thought about all the reasons why he would say that and, and how I, was I projecting to the congregation and how was I projecting to him and was I actually relaxed or not? And of course I wasn't. I mean, just based on the way my mind was running as he said that, I, I was not relaxed. But through supervision, through um, a lot of re reflection, I was able to realize that I wasn't relaxed because I wasn't confident in my role. Growing in confidence was a huge learning and I wish there was a simple way, a simple couple of words that I could give you to reflect how that learning has gone. Um, but it has been difficult and long and the learning is not done. But if I can give you something, it would be to relax. Then after a couple months, Pastor John gave me a new word. I suppose uh, I had mastered the old one. Not really. Um, but the word he gave me then was enjoy. And I thought, enjoy? We had just closed the doors and gone online, and that had been a really difficult, arduous process. The rural church, not very technologically advanced, many folks older, not a lot of technology experience. Many people don't have computers, let alone the internet. How was I supposed to enjoy that? And then I sort of reflected on my past and, and how I've enjoyed the ministry up until that point. And then I sort of brainstormed about how I could enjoy the ministry in the midst of being having the doors of the church closed. And then I started to imagine the future and and what enjoying the rest of my ministry at St. Paul would be like in ministry back in Chicago and, and ministry beyond. What would that all be like? What would that all be like if I had this lens of enjoyment, this lens of joy? And all of a sudden, things started to look a little bit brighter, not in spite of the reality that I was experiencing, but I was able to see that there was joy to be had even in the midst of it all. And then when I started to see the joy in others, when I started to see other people enjoying the ministry, that is when I started to become flooded by joy. And again, that was a process that came through reflection and it wasn't always easy. But if I can give you anything, out of my learning here at St. Paul, it would be to relax and enjoy. This ministry is truly a blessing, and whether you are called to pastoral ministry or a ministry in another setting or in another role, this is a really, really special thing. You are going to be in rooms that not a lot of other people get to be in. You're going to get to be in conversations that not a lot of other people get to be in. You're going to get to be a part of people's lives in some really special moments, some really dire ones too. And all of that is a blessing, a blessing too big for words. So relax and enjoy it because you are called to this ministry. So thank you all for your time. I look forward to meeting a lot of you, seeing others. I love you all.
Please take care. I'll see you soon.